Every time you create VMware Virtual Machine, it creates a lot of files in the folder structure. And you might be wondering, what are those files are for? The cool thing is that you can browse and see all of these files within your operating system, as long as you can navigate to the file's location. One thing I would recommend you do is to enable file extensions in your file explorer. You can do it by navigating to the View tab, Options, and then selecting different options based on your configuration and based on your needs, specifically on hiding some system files and some protected operating system files. One of the most important files is the VMX file. VMX file is just a text file and could be opened in the any text editor. You can see all different configuration settings for your virtual machine. VMX file is also the file VMware is looking for when you try to open virtual machine. That log file is the main log file, which captures everything that's happening in the virtual machine. VMware manages log files and renames them, always maintaining the current VMware.log file and also keeping an archive of everything that happened in the past. Log file is just the text file and can be opened in any text editor. That NVRAM file stores the state of the virtual machine's BIOS. It is typically stored in the same folder where a VMX file is. It is typically a rather small file and uses proprietary format from VMware. That VMDK file contains the content of the virtual disk drive. VMDK file is typically a very large file because it contains everything that's stored in the disk drive. Typically, every virtual drive on VMware gets its own VMDK file. For example, in my configuration, there are two 256 gigabyte hard drives configured in VMware. Each one of these hard drives has multiple VMDK files associated with them. Because I created the snapshots of virtual machines at the different points of time, for every point in time, VMware took a snapshot of the hard drive as well and stored it as a different VMDK file. That VMAM file is the virtual machine's page file. This paging file backs up guest memory into the host operating file system. It typically only exists when virtual machine is running. And every time you create a snapshot, it creates a snapshot of the memory at the point of time of the snapshot. VMSD file stores metadata about snapshots. It is typically a very small file which is written in the text format and it allows VMware to organize all snapshots associated with particular virtual machine. You can also see visual representation of all snapshots by navigating to VMware Snapshot, Snapshot Manager. VMSN file typically stores a snapshot state at the time you take the snapshot. And last but not least, is that VMSS file. That VMSS file is the suspended state file, which stores the stand of suspended virtual machine. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.